are back working our way through the weekend news. And just quickly, Ed, we can't go on without mentioning your amazing performance on Dancing with the Stars. Indeed, indeed. Thank you, Tommy. Ed is right behind you. Thank you How for did... coming, Tommy. How do you think you went? Uh, I, think I, I think I improved a lot. And I, I, I think in the end I was probably robbed. I think I did fantastically well, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure everyone agreed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Two. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. What was the reaction from our other contestants when you heard that Ed Cavalli was doing Dancing with the Stars? Well, look, once again, I know what, you know, I think you think I'm going to say, but it's not the case. I wanted to say that I was really, really proud of Ed and... Um, hmm. I know that he was, uh, the charity that he chose, Tom, was Learning for Life, yes. a charity very close to yes. your heart for Indeed. helping kids with autism. He made the grand final um, and he didn't win. So I just wanted to say that I thought you let Tom down. <laughs> you let, Not at all. You let, yourself, you let yourself down. And if I was to be brutally honest, you let a lot of kids with autism down. <laughs> did you, None of that true. Good call. Good call. Did you yeah. vote, Ta Pang, did you vote for me? I didn't, no, I didn't, listen, I, to be honest, I, I didn't, much like the rest of Australia, I didn't watch the show. Um, Very popular. Were you dancing like no one was watching because no one was watching? <laughs> okay, hands on buzzers, let's get back into questions.